And while today is one usually spent with family and friends around the grill or at the pool, Memorial Day is also one in which we pause to honor our military men and women who died while serving our country. WXII 12's Joshua Davis went to Kernersville today for a ceremony at the Carolina Field of Honor. A lot of people attended today's Memorial Day ceremony, some with specific people in mind. I spoke to one couple who are honoring their son this Memorial Day. We also remember my son, Matt, who was killed in Iraq in, in 2004 on December 3rd. Alan and Lauren White attend the Memorial Day ceremony at Carolina Field of Honor every year, thinking of their son, Matt. And we laid him to rest on, this, on the 10th, which would have been his 22nd birthday. So. Memorial Day and Veterans Day and December, obviously, is very special for us. They say he was fun loving and followed his dad's footsteps into the Marine Corps. Came back from Okinawa to see him graduate boot camp in San Diego, which is where I went to boot camp many years before him. <laughs> I went to boot camp in 1974, and he went in 2001. 2001. Lauren and Alan say it's moving to see so many people at the ceremony to remember those like their son, Matt. So I, I missed a lot of things with him, but I, we had some fun times together and, and I was always proud of him. It's not a happy occasion, but it is important that we all remember the sacrifices that so many people made throughout the years that enable us to have the life we do today. The Wyatts say they appreciate everyone who attends events like today's ceremony, and they encourage others to share that appreciation with those who've served. In Kernersville, I'm Joshua Davis for WXII 12 News.